Hey, so what's going on? Sean here. Thank you for checking in again. So I, I, I had a, I was thinking about a few things, and you know, people have accused me and others of becoming old and jaded and stuff. And I, I, that's not it. Here's the analogy: picture a Bentley or a Ferrari, a custom-made, beautiful automobile that was designed with with care and love and and, and lots of time and effort artistry was put into it and they go out there and try to sell it after it's clearly you know a a better automobile and they get out there into the market everybody just tells them well it's just a car you know and this is we pay uh twenty five thousand dollars for cars and so you know you can sell it for twenty five thousand just like everybody else or you know whatever don't and everybody can tell it's a better vehicle. It's got custom leather, it's smooth, it's it's powerful, it's it's everything is plush, it's beautiful. Everything out there is just your average vehicle, you know, your Camry or whatever. But they're they're telling Ferrari or Bentley that they have to sell their vehicles for the same price. Because they're clueless. They can't tell the difference between a Bentley and a Camry. All right, that's what it's like being a talented musician out there today. And you accept it and you fight your little battles and you and you get to the point where you, you work with enough people who actually understand to an extent your value and you get paid to an extent sometimes what you're worth or near what you're worth. And you're fighting battles and it's decades and decades after decade after decade. And you keep fighting the good fight and you keep fighting the good fight. And eventually it's like, you know, you just grow weary. It's like anything else. Old soldiers grow weary. You're going to grow weary of fighting the fight. And that's what it is. You know, you're having to deal with clueless people with no ears. Can't tell the difference between a fucking Yugo and a Corvette. You know, and that's that's what's going on. And so, personally, I've always been driven by excellence. I've been uh, inspired by artists. And I, my big inspiration was to try to write a song they can hold up uh, as my heroes. And as a performer and a singer and a player, I wanted to be able to get on stage with my heroes and be able to hang with them. And I've done that multiple times. I've... I've hung with multiple great artists on stage. I've got the nod, uh, you know, jam with Gavin DeGraw for an entire night. And he told, he gave me the nod. He said, the only difference between you and I, he goes, is I walk dogs in New York City and I, and I didn't play covers and stuff. And John Mayer told me the same thing. He didn't play covers and went out and did the same thing. You know, I can hang with all these guys on stage and I know it. And guess what? Joe shit the rag, retired police detective that moves to Florida and kind of played guitar sometimes a little bit was in a garage band when he was young and you know always stayed in weekend bands or garage bands and put 50,000 hours less into his instrument and writing and singing gets paid the same as me in the bars so that's what happens that's why all my contemporaries and my heroes that I came up playing with don't play anymore, or they just play once in a while and get together with old friends and and uh, just do whatever they want to do and jam. It's just because after a while, you're not going to win the fight. You know, after a while, you just get sick of it. You get sick of any job. You're going to get sick of any job. You're going to get sick of the bullshit involved. And that's all it is. And sometimes if you step away and give yourself some mental space, Sometimes even physical space, you can kind of get, you can rediscover the love of something that you might have. You know, I'm taking a a little, I took a six month break last year. I touched the guitar maybe six times the entire time. Didn't touch the electric. In fact, I haven't played the electric in over two years. I took both of my electric guitars, cleaned them up, put them in their hard cases, and I stuck them in my storage unit. They're not even coming on uh, on the road with us to the sugar beet harvest and then on vacation afterwards this fall. Uh, I need to continue giving them a break. I, I put a $1,000 into my tailor, which is my guitar 
that gives, it's given me all my songs and everything in the last 20, 20 something years. And I'm taking that with me only. All my uh, stage gear is going to stay packed away here in Florida. And I'm hoping to play the, and, you know, play the tailor. Hoping to be inspired by nature again and play the tailor and stuff like that. But, you know, sometimes the, the problem with it out there today is all the beautiful Ferraris and Bentleys and Corvettes and stuff, they're just throwing in the towel because they're not, they're not making any more money. They're not getting any more gigs or they're not respected above and beyond the typical Camrys and the Sentras and the Altimas out there. And it just gets, it gets old after a while. And you find, if you find yourself getting fed up with it, you either need to step back, take a step back, reinvent yourself or do something. I think a lot of people are coming to that now. You know, I've said it before in other videos that I just don't think it's viable to not be retired, not have a retirement, whatever, to just rely on being a musician anymore for 90 something percent of people out there. And I hold, I hold that's true. I mean, you could do what I do. You could do gig work if you're good and you can get some anchor gigs. I just don't want, you know, and it's too much effort for me to be running around all these different places and trying to get gigs and trying to hold gigs and have a calendar and stuff. The way that this scene is here in South Florida is so spread out. I know what all these places pay, the effort involved, and the fact that, you know, you may very well be a Ferrari. Everybody else is a Camry. You can only work for what the Camry sell for. You can only sell for what the Camry sell for. It's just the way it is, you know. I, I used to scream and have and haw and fight and win my little battles when I was 25, but I just don't give a shit anymore enough to, to do it. So anyway, that's the analogy. And that's what I found. And I, you know, you just, you can't fight it after a while. Um, I mean, you can fight it. You just get sick of it. So anyway, that's my thought of the day. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're kicking butt. Taking some names, fighting the good fight, and uh, like and subscribe, and we'll see you out there. Peace.